This is a penny and I've set myself the challenge to turn it into a thousand pounds by just woodworking. Previously, I used that penny to buy myself an oak dining table and two oak dining chairs. I instantly sold those on Facebook for 15 pounds and now I'm gonna buy me some tools. <gasps> the game just changed. Okay, so it's 6. 41 in the morning and I've got an idea about this 15 pounds. I think going to the car boot and trying to pick up some tools there is going to make way more sense than buying them new from the shop. Oh and I forgot to say I'm bringing little man this morning. Are you excited to get to the car boot? Yeah. <clears throat> man I look tired because I am. Just got to this car boot and realized it isn't actually free to enter. It is a pound to park in their car park. What I've decided to do is park up and I'm gonna take a walk into there to save on that pound. Yeah, that's what I've decided to do, so I'm gonna walk in. So I first arrived at the car boot and watching this back, I can see how Freddy did not want to be there. So sorry about that, mate. It was a beautiful day. There was lots of people there, so I was feeling really good about getting some items. I know the things that I really wanted to get was a hammer, a saw, and fixing, so I was hoping that my 15 pounds would stretch that far. Now, if you're wondering why all of this car boot footage is filmed on my iPhone, it's because I didn't want to walk around with this pointing at people. I feel like this would have been, this would have been a weird thing to carry around a car boot. Uh, instead, it's me looking a bit sly with my iPhone. The first stall I arrived at was some guys selling what looked like brand new stuff. None of it a particularly great make, but definitely stuff that took my eye. I noticed these tape measures straight away. Obviously gonna be very useful to have a tape measure. I think I'll, um, I'll take one of these for a quick, yeah. please, yeah. I don't think a tape measure is ever gonna be a bad idea. I think in total I probably saw about 10 of these hammers with a wooden handle. on the hammer? Found. In the end, I decided not to go for that one because they are notorious for breaking. How much are you saying on your hand saws? Quid. Quid. Would you do them too for a quid? Yeah. Yeah, these saws didn't look in great condition, but for 50p each, I actually felt pretty good about them. How much on your drills? Yeah, 30 pounds is just gonna be a bit too expensive for me, unfortunately, so I had to say no to these. It's worth it, it's just a bit outside my budget for today. Uh, then it, this caught my eye, it's a nice Stanley hammer. I put that to one side. This same stool had one of these Japanese saws as well. So I did ask the guy how much he wanted for these. Hi mate, how much on the hammer and the... That's a 10 on the hammer's free, so yeah, he wanted 13 for both, which obviously I couldn't do. So I had to put the, the uh, Japanese saw back, but the hammer, I did ask for two. He didn't want to budge. He was right though, three pound. It was worth it. So in the end, I just decided to go for it. I did not want a hammer breaking on me in this challenge. So it felt like a wise investment. That's decent hammer. Mate. Thank you very that much. Last your yeah. I then stumbled across this guy selling fixings for 50p a bag. So I didn't ask any questions. I just grabbed a handful of what I thought would be useful and paid the guy. So, so far we've got two saws, I've got one tape measure, I've got a hammer for three pounds. Pretty significant amount of nails. That leaves me with three, four, I've got seven pounds. To be honest with you, I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I think I'm going to keep looking around. If I can, getting like a, like a drill would be amazing. Or I'm thinking like a screwdriver set, so if I do buy any wooden furniture, I've actually got something to actually take it apart and dismantle it. Freddie, what are you doing? Who eats the bottom of an ice cream cone first? Now with seven pounds left, I wasn't feeling too confident about getting too much until I stumbled across this drill torch battery set. He wanted exactly seven pounds for this, so I couldn't believe it. Then I had a look at it, and unfortunately it was a European plug, so I, I had to put it down. This box of screws caught my eye. The guy wanted five pounds. Check out this absolutely excellent negotiation from me. How much is this box of stuff here? Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was thinking more like a quid, honestly. Ah, oh, no, three quid. I'll go three quid. Two? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure what was in here, but I thought I'll take the gamble for two quid. Absolutely, I'll look when I get home. And I actually missed the first half of me finding this boss drill, but the guy wanted 10 pounds. It didn't have any charge in the battery, but he assured me it worked. I told him and I explained that I only had five pounds left in my budget and he did actually agree to it. So I'm really hoping that when I get home, I'll charge this up and it does actually work for me. 
Okay, so that was pretty successful. We have spent every penny that we have and invested it all into tools and fixings. I will catch up when I'm back at home. So the first thing I bought were these two saws. I paid 50p for each of these, so this is very rusty. This other one looks like it's been used even less. It's a little bit shorter than the other one, so it's nice that I got two of these. They were 50 pence each. The next thing I got was this Stanley hammer. I got myself this tape measure. Uh, this is a five meter tape measure. It was one pound. There is absolutely nothing special about this tape measure. That's gonna be useful for what I'm doing. I then got all of these nails. So these were three pounds in total. Ring shank nails, masonry galvanized nails, furniture nails, panel pins. The next thing I got was this toolbox. It caught my eye because it was full of screws. Now, so in here I've got these, got these bolts. I've also got 60 mil coach screws. Some mint, no I'm joking. There's, there's no mint in here, this is full of very small screws. I have more screws, little screws, boot studs. I do not know what these are. Tiny little nails, boot studs, I've never seen them before. They go in the bottom of boots? Then I might have to Google that. And then I've got in here loads and loads of just random. Oh. Oh. I have a drill bit. Oh. Ah, that's amazing. Would, okay. I have a thing, I have a, a, for the drill. What is this called, an impact end? I have one of these, okay. Oh, please be more of this stuff. Oh my God, there's another one. There's another one. Well, that's made it worth it alone. That's, gonna, that's a game changer, I had no idea I had these. And the last thing I got was this Bosch PSR 1440. I have no idea yet if this works. Oh my God, it works. And I can put my newfound drill bit in it. The game just changed. I then spent a few hours tidying up and cleaning all of the tools that I've just purchased. And then I remembered, I had those chairs listed on Facebook. So someone has just messaged me on Facebook and they're after the two chairs that I picked up for my original penny. Unfortunately, I'm about to go out. So what I'm gonna have to do is leave them outside and I've told the guy to actually post the 10 pounds through the letterbox. So I'm putting my faith in Facebook Marketplace and hopefully there'll be 10 pounds through the door when I get home. And they did pay me the 10 pounds through the letterbox, faith in humanity restored. Join me for the next episode where I will put all of these tools to work and finally start actually making something on this challenge. If you enjoyed this video, then please go ahead and smash the like button and consider subscribing. And until next time, happy building.